right guys and welcome back so i believe we're on the 20th budget review for 2023 so how exciting is that let me adjust some of my lights here craft room is still being built as we speak so crazy stuff going on around us but uh for those of you who are new uh, i chose the hemlock and oak 2023 daily planner i absolutely love this planner it's gorgeously made and it is definitely my go-to budget planner from here on out. Um, I, I love this thing, I do. Um, if you want to see like a full flip through of it, I'm going to put a video card up in the top corner for you. But other than that, we're going to go ahead and flip through and see what happened in Sally's budget this week. So, they start off with a two years at a glance page. I used one for projected payoffs, which actually now that I'm looking at it, I gotta find the moss green color, guys. Sorry, I thought I had that marked. I do not. So I gotta dig through all of my pens. I'm sure you're hearing them hit the floor in the background. But we are looking for moss, and there we go. How I remember what color I use, I don't know, but I do. But, oh my god, I still got glue stuck to my Fitbit. <laughs> yeah, see guys, like we are in the building here, so let's go ahead and get the glue gun stuff off of me. Okay, so yeah, I use this as <laughs> my projected uh, pay dates. Uh, the ones that are highlighted in pink, that's when they're projected to be paid off. Uh, the color-coded parts, um, that's when I actually did pay it off. <coughs> so, like you can see, like Walmart was due for January, I got it taken care of. Um, Kohl's wasn't due until March, but I got it paid off in February, along with Best Buy. Uh, Capital One uh, gave me a headache, but hey, it's gone. Um, we got Gazelle. And now we're working on City right now, which he's almost paid off. Guys, I only got 100 left, and we got one and a half weeks. So I'm thinking it's possible. And okay, so we move into the one year at a glance. I kind of made this like my little dashboard. So I did put in all my paydays. Uh, the focus accounts that I'm focusing on paying down, since I am using the snowball method, those are in red. And when I do pay them off, I do highlight the day as well. Uh, purple would be your holidays, light blues or birthdays, which I still got to get my dad something for his birthday. Uh, he keeps changing his mind, so we still got to figure out what we're getting bill. Uh, of course, taxes, so I highlighted that day. Um, vehicle expenses, we have finally made it to the vehicle uh, expense. So we've had the inspection, uh, took care of that yesterday. And, of course, large sums of money coming in and out. Those are going to be yellow. And I was, um, well, still am. I'm still tracking my credit score. Uh, we were on a progressive up move. And for this month, it did go down. And I'm thinking it's because of the inquiries. Because I did have to make one for Wayfair for the new desk for my craft room. So, let's see here. Oh, we are blowing through this one. Okay, so uh, the next page is I just started off with like, okay, the beginning balances of the cards for the year, which <laughs> after looking at this, guys, I'm just like, holy cow. <coughs> uh, I do check them off. <laughs> I'm sorry. I got like sawdust and stuff in my throat too as I'm filming this uh, building pegboards and stuff right now. So I probably am going to be coughing frequently. Um... But yeah, I mean, like, I've already paid off this much for this year. Like, that is, that is just cool. And I'm almost about to get this one taken care of. So it's like, wow. And um, uh, I do total up at the end of the month uh, what I did pay off. And then that's how I know what to fill in for Detris. Uh, again, I'm shooting for level one for this month. So you never know, guys. You never know. But this is how I'm pretty much turning in... Uh, uh, paying off debt. I'm turning it into something fun uh, because it is actually kind of fun every now and then that I look at it. Other days, not so much, but today is a really fun day. So it's bringing a smile to my face. So uh, we go into the monthly layouts and basically I just put in the projected paydays for the bills 
and anything that's extra or additional um that's really by my choice um it, so like i'm not forced to put money into my daily savings i choose to and i'm not forced to do the extra payments i choose to because again i want all those debts that we saw before i want them gone so those are in different colors to keep them separated from like the bill bills <laughs> um i do do my monthly goals so again, I have that $5 a day. Uh, in the beginning, it used to be like literally I'd wake up and transfer $5 into my one savings account. And now I'm just used to not having that money per month. So I just divvy it up between how many pays uh, I get for the month. So we had 155 because there's 31 days. So I just divvied it up between 80 and 75. So both of those are done. We got uh, all of that in there, so that's good. I reached my daily savings goal for May. Uh, I do have my no credit card tracker. Um, I do still use the credit cards, which right now I'm loving Discover card because of the whole cash back, and then you get it doubled at the end of the thing. Um, that has been really nice, and then they have like a 5% bonus. I mean, it, it is wonderful. Um... The other thing is, is that, like, I know that I'm using the cards differently than I was just even, I would even say, like, even six months ago, to where if I do make a purchase with the Discover card for that day, like, let's say I needed 50 in gas, um, I'm putting $50 onto that, that Discover card immediately. So it's not like I'm letting it chill and hang out and collect interest. It's, if I'm using the card, it's pretty much like I'm using my bank card now. Um, I'm pretty good at that. So that's what the highlighted days are when I do miss it. Uh, cause again, like, I don't know if you were here for the other ones, uh, April, uh, I was bouncing back from a disaster in March, but, um, February and January, February and January were pretty solid. So um, I'm thinking we're, we're getting to see it. Okay. We're finally getting back to where I should be. I'm going to say June's probably going to be like a hundred percent again. Um, but I mean, I, any day, any day to where I do that is better than no day. Right. So I'm just taking baby steps with that goal. Uh, of course we have a city that would be my focus count for the month. So of course I made the 50 there. I made the 50 there. Um, I did actually owe them a hundred. And I did pay them the hundred. Where is a pen that I could use? And I don't believe I have a micron anywhere near. Oh, that's a shame. But I will have to fill that in. But I did check it off because I know that I paid it. Um, of course, I had the vehicle inspection. Uh, I should probably more. I'll do that later. But yeah, I had the fifty dollars in the vehicle inspection. Of course, Bill's birthday, which was the twelfth. Um, one moment he wants a candle, next moment he wants curtains, next moment he wants flowers. He has no idea what he wants. Um, but we are going to have to figure out what Bill wants by the end of the month. And, of course, I had to renew Stebbit. So that's how I use this sidebar here. It's like things that are legitly for the entire month and can be tracked throughout the month. They go on these pages. So let's get to these guys here so this is where i left jeans <laughs> the week before it was just like a complete mess um i was like double paying on the discover card so because i apparently didn't mark that i paid it i i don't know i really don't know how this happened but i mean it was when i was moving the craft room and all of that stuff uh was getting really crazy here um so I'm pretty sure that's how it happened, but either way, one of the morals I ended up double paying, so I just used it for this one. So technically it is paid. It was just paid on the 10th, apparently. Um, so I'll put my bills up here, again, that you saw on the monthly page, so I'll remark them here. Of course, they get logged in the budget tracker down here. And I mean, I do have this lovely space up here for my focus and intentions of the day. So, <laughs> um... I think I figured out why Mercury's going so low is that my internet is getting charged onto that thing. So I do want to uh, check into that probably next month. Um, so, I mean, hey, at least I figured that out. Uh, to pay or not to pay. 
<laughs> um, okay, so Canva, I really needed it because I don't know if you have noticed. Uh, I did change and update my thumbnails that I used for my videos, and I really like the one that I have right now. And so, to me, that was worth the $12. And I was using it for my uh, Etsy shop photos, too. I was trying to make better looking ones. Um, I was doing something else with Canva, too. I think I made moon cards. I made some really cool looking moon cards. Um, so, yeah, I mean, I'll keep Canva as long as I know that I'm using it. If I start noticing that I'm not using it, then I'll cancel it. Uh, it's really one of those apps that, like... If you're going to use it, then yeah, it's worth what it is. But, I mean, if you're not going to use it, guys, the free version is just good enough. Um, okay, so we had a good night on this one. Uh, I, I had, like, a super long break at work. <laughs> like, going to work didn't feel like going to work. Um, what is it? I went tanning. I went to Lowe's. I went and donated clothes. I went to Starbucks. I went to McDonald's. Um... So many places okay so that that was just a great day uh wednesday again i started noticing like hey i'm actually starting to tick these things off okay they're not um not sticking around not not getting paid so i was like okay you're doing good i did get confused again i thought i went to mcd's i didn't know it was the day before i did go to dairy queen this day um okay so what else do I got? I got, uh, okay, this was blessed this mess, okay, right? Because, uh, we do still have that agreement, so instead of getting angry, uh, about the messes, I now look at them because it's like, hey, that's a source of income that I could use to help pay off my cards and debts, so, uh, I got 34 for this one, um, okay, now this is, I am gonna have to admit, guys, okay, their ads are really, really good, and I'm just saying, like, if they do work, like I've seen in some of the comments, it is worth it. But, um, I probably didn't need the matching pants, which is the $39.99 that did get me on that. But, eh, whatever. Uh, I'll try it. And I just gotta figure out where the funds are coming from this, but I have a feeling this is gonna be paid off by the end of the month as well. And, uh, welcome to manifesting here. Um, I got, like, two mystery checks in the mail. Um... One is a $5 refund from our hospital, which I haven't been to the hospital in a very long time. But, um, <laughs> for some reason they decided to send me a $5 check. And, uh, the other one was a 2018, uh, tax settlement. Apparently TurboTax overcharged us. So they sent me twenty nine thirty. So I, uh, deposited both of those. And, um, those went into the stash funds. So the stash funds are the funds that I normally use to pay these things off. So I think that's how I'm going to pay them off. I'm just, uh, I think my stash is at like 80 right now. So I'm waiting until it reaches to where I could just pay that off in full. Um, okay. I never, never read a saying for Hello Payday. I've been doing that a lot this month. Uh, but basically, hey, we made it to payday, right? Okay. And, um... <laughs> I mean, guys, those mystery checks. I mean, I only had $5. You gotta figure, I had $5, right? And those mystery checks came at the perfect time, right? So, um, I don't know. Maybe there is something to this manifesting thing. And, <laughs> okay, so, uh, of course, it's payday. I instantly put that stash fund. So, like, any time we get a raise, uh, this would have been the last raise. So, it made my check $22 more, which, you know, woo, whoopee. But, um... I figured, hey, I'm used to not having those funds, so I instantly put that in a stash, and then that way I could buy things that, like, I don't really need, like those shapers, um, without feeling guilty about it. And, of course, my daily savings goal. Um, okay, these, like this, I know for sure would have been a charge I would have made on my Discover card, but since I paid it immediately that night, it's a deduction, because, you know, I paid it. Uh, I had to, you know, hand out some more of my collagen, which everybody is loving, and took care of some of those afterpays. Uh, what's that lead us to? That's tomorrow or yesterday. So Saturday, of course, I had the inspection. I pretty much just stayed home. I was beat tired because I had to wake up early for this inspection. I do work night shifts, hence why all my spending's at night. 
But, um, I mean, I was beat tired, guys. I pretty much slept the rest of the freaking day. And, uh, yeah. So, somehow, in the middle of this, I completely forgot that I had to transfer the funds for my car loan. Because it's paid through a different bank. And, uh, again, this whole manifesting thing, guys, I'm telling you, because I didn't have luck like this before. But, fortunately, which I don't know if I did this on purpose, if it happened, like, in the beginning of this, but... It's not actually due until the 22nd, but I have it marked that it's due in the 20th, which is the perfect amount of days for that transfer to occur. It's just, I have it written, like, everywhere on my 22nd page of, like, look at PSECU, because I still have to pay it. It's just, that's how long it takes to fund. But, um, hey, they're going to be delivered on the 22nd, and it's due on the 22nd. So, that is, like, saving my butt from the hair of my chinny chin chin, right? And that gets us to today, which today has been, uh, so far, like, super exciting here. Um, I actually found pegboard. Uh, it's, like, a super huge pegboard at Lowe's. I've always wanted, uh, like, a pegboard storage for my craft room, which now that I actually have a craft room, I could actually have one. But it was, like, guys, like, you know, when, you, when you're looking at, like, Michaels and Joanne's and that, they're, like, 80 freaking dollars, right? So, apparently, at Lowe's... You could get a giant freaking board. It's like eight feet. I want to say eight feet by four feet. It was 20 bucks. And I just had a guy there. I told him, I said, chop it in half, chop it in half again. So now I got four peg boards that are two feet by four feet, <coughs> which is perfect because hence why I'm breathing in solid dust right now. But um, it's perfect because I have a U-shaped desk. So I have four spaces where I could put this thing. <laughs> So, yeah, I got, I got peg boards, I got peg hookies, I got, uh, well, I had to get, like, little blocks of wood as spacers to go behind it, of course, the nails and screws and stuff to anchor it into the freaking wall, uh, more ceiling hooks, because the ceiling hooks I got were, uh, little weakers, so I had to get some stronger ones, but, I mean, guys, I, I got all that at Lowe's for under 100 bucks. Um, I don't think I've ever had a great shopping trip at Lowe's. Normally, I'm like, God, they want what for that? And I just seriously couldn't believe what I got because I think if I would have went to Michael's or Joanne's, it probably would have been damn near, uh, like $500, $600. So, I mean, I'm pretty satisfied with my Lowe's here. And, I mean, I got a, got a lot of toys here, uh, that I get to play with once we're done filming. I'm gonna paint them things. I'm gonna paint them so cool. And... <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's gonna be playtime and of course you know i went grocery shopping after that um surprisingly it was only uh 14 bucks so i mean I'm, I'm doing pretty good there uh i had to get bert some cat food and of course i made that extra city payment so i mean things are looking up guys they're they're looking good uh every now and then i will slip up and uh do something like this <laughs> <laughs> I guess you gotta do that, right? Like, it, it's gonna happen. Nobody's perfect. And, um, but, I mean, hey, I'm still on track. I guess this is really what matters here. And as long as I don't rack this up to, like, an extreme amount, we're good. Uh, especially because, um, don't know if you noticed this, but, uh, where's he at? He's the next one. He's the next one on the list, guys, so I do really have to watch what I'm doing. Because how am I supposed to pay this boy off if I'm racking it up? So, but like I said, like, their, their cash backs and bonus offers are, like, amazing. <laughs> it's like my new favorite card. But, you know, so, yeah, no, we're, I'm going to say we're going to have City paid off by the end of this month, which is, you know, a month ahead of when he was due. And then we're going to be moving on to this guy. And i got to figure out how to build a tracker to keep my momentum. Because it's I, I don't want it to kill me like how this one did. Because it just felt like it took forever. So we're going to have to make like milestones for this thing. And then that way I could check it off and be like, yes. <laughs> so uh, that's it, guys. That's the wonderful budgeting world of Sally here in the last week. Um, again, I'm hoping that these videos... Uh, one, make you laugh. You know, I want you to laugh about it. I mean, budgeting is normally always serious and that, and I hope you get a kick out of this. Uh, um, yeah, I, I hope that if you're doing your budgeting journey too, and if you have like ups and downs, that you see that, you know, you're not alone. 
we all have ups and downs. Nobody's perfect. And I mean, if they are, they're not living. They can't be. They got to be robots. And uh, so, I mean, I do hope that these videos do bring you just a little spark of joy in your day. And with <laughs> that note, um, I'm going to close out by saying thank you so much for watching. I greatly appreciate it. And please remember to hit that like and subscribe button to see more plan with this.